Hi guys and thanks for joining me. In this yoga sisal video we're going to have a look at how to do a safe squat. So traditionally the yogic squat and the squats that you'll most likely do in a gym will be done with parallel feet. So maybe wider, maybe narrower, but still when you squat with parallel feet and you go down low, your pelvic floor muscles are going to disengage. The problem with that is that when those muscles disengage, they're no longer able to hold the pelvis. And that's going to compromise the pelvic joints, which will lead to instability. And that instability can then lead to other musculoskeletal problems along your spine, into your hips, maybe your knees. Um, not such a good thing. You can even think of traditional ways of going to the toilet, it's squatting. And to be a little bit crude, if you had diarrhea, how low would you actually be able to squat before you made a total mess of yourself? If you get my point. So in the squat we'll look at today, it's a staggered squat. One foot's going to be in front of the other. And you're gonna, you'll notice you'll be able to keep your pelvic floor engaged going all the way down and all the way up. At the same time, you're still going to be building strength into your thighs, your butt, your core, your back, um, and you'll still get that deep hip flexion that can help release lower back pain. So I'll see you on the mat. You're going to want a position with your feet hip distance apart and then your right foot in line with your left heel. You can measure it up in different ways. You can measure two fists width between the knuckles of your big toes. So that's hip distance and then Trying to keep that sliding your right foot back or standing with your feet together, turn your right toes out, it's a bit more fancy footwork, and then lifting the heel to turn on your toes and let the heel point behind you. Either way, hip distance feet, right big toe lining up with the left heel. And then from there, it's fairly simple, it's like you're tying your shoelaces. So you lower down. The back heel lifts naturally to let you come down deeper. And then you're going to use your butt to press you back up. We'll try it again. Come down. Let your butt move back. Let your spine come forward. Your back heel lifts. And then you're going to use your bum to drive you back up. So that way it's your glutes, your thighs, front and back, your core strength front and back helping to move you up and down. Slowly coming down. And use your butt. Come all the way up. And then stepping forward, second side, three times. You know how you like to measure up. Measuring up on the same way you did on the first side. And then coming down. Use your bum, press up. Noticing if your knees drop in or drop out, you want to keep your knees lining up with your toes. One more time. And you can keep, you can use this several times on each time, on each side, morning, noon, and night. Get your butt nice and perky. Thank you. Namaste.